Bum, 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 bum. Ba da 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 dum, dum. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Cody, Max, Zach, and you are listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. That's right. Nailed it. I've been putting some spice on the st at the end. Podcast. I like that. It makes it pop. Very snake like. How are we doing today, guys? Good. Good. Uh, it took us a little bit to get this set up, though, huh? <laughs> it did. We're starting so much later than we want to. We're doing our best for you, okay? Yeah. We are trying everything we can. We've had two episodes. Both episodes fail with video. We're determined that this one's going to work out. And uh, now that I've said that, we're doomed. So we'll yeah. see. <laughs> jinxed it. You jinxed it. Oh, uh, my goodness. So we it took us forever because we were trying to get the video to work. It wasn't working at the right uh resolution and now we mm -hmm. think we got it yeah we'll find out you tell us yeah rip us to shreds in the comments here we go if you're watching on youtube welcome back everybody this is just episode three yeah of the talk it off podcast it's interesting because we don't name them beforehand we name yeah. them afterwards yeah we kind of let like what happens in the podcast decide what the name is and we, i kind of like that yeah i was gonna say we should name them during and then that could be a whole segment oh, where yeah. someone says something and you're like that's the podcast oh. we did that we did yeah in episode one we called it uh, I guess. I called it I guess. Wow. I guess. Episode yeah. two is how Zach met Brad Pitt. Yes. Wow. Which is just great clickbait. <laughs> just classic great clickbait. And then when, when whenever we were setting this up, whenever we get restless, we just start making up songs. And I came back to Zach singing something about uh farting and pissing. Yes. And Max was giving harmonic background. <laughs> yeah. In the can can I can it we was, get, can we show them? Yeah, it was, it's a it's a um, it's a haunting tune. Uh, it's I, a haunting tune. I kind of I kind of forgot the rhythm of it. It's funny as I, rem I remember the first I piss, then I fart, then I piss, then I fart. First I piss, one more time, then I fart, two, three. First I piss, then I fart, then I piss, then I fart, and then you piss, and then you fart. <laughs> Getting too excited so, now. <laughs> then you pissed and fought and shit. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Oh, my God. Where do we go from here? Uh, That's it. Thanks uh, well, for coming. We have topics written down. So We do, and some of them involve uh, piss. <laughs> Yeah, fart we just got that out right away. Yeah, I like that. It's just right there. Uh, Something a lot more wholesome that you you wanted us to talk about was the favorite moment from our week. Yes, I wrote down favorite moment of your week. Do you guys have one? I do personally. Oh, Cody. I actually had a really big moment this week. Take um, so those of you who may or may not know, like a while ago, I had a vocal injury. Yeah. And it was really scary to go through. Uh, I went through the whole surgery process, like rehab, got some vocal lessons with this awesome coach, Rachel Lawrence. And then um, I haven't had a lesson with her in a long time. We did our tour in Australia. Yeah. First day of the tour. It was the scariest. I didn't really talk about this, but it was like the scariest moment I've had in a long time because I just got done with that whole thing. And then we're set up on stage. It's backlined like crazy. It's a smaller stage. And we're on second to last, but we're still like the drum set. I think you think you were like right behind me. It was like that round stage too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's not much room to go out left or right. So like Max's drums are right behind me and my microphone's really compressed. So it picks up everything. Mm -hmm. So the whole set, it's just me trying to hear myself because it's picking up drums and there's nothing we could do about it. So I'm straining so much that after that show, I don't know if you guys remember this, I couldn't talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I physically couldn't talk. So my routine for the whole tour became like, okay, sing the set, shut up until the next day, and then here's the show. And then even if there was an off day, still shut up. So I was like, oh no, I damaged myself again. But then now I realize that, you know, we did the live show since then, the the live stream, and that was fine, but still like it was like, you know, I haven't been singing as much, so I wasn't as conditioned. Well, anyways, I had this lesson and I had a breakthrough and where I was like, I I, I want to strain less when I'm going for my higher notes and I don't know if I sound the same. And she helped me in that lesson, like find myself almost. And so I feel I have like a new like wave of confidence since then. So that was a really huge moment for me this week. Give us give us a note. Hit us with a note. Oh, that great. easy. I love that. Dude, not even fucking hard, bro. <laughs> yeah. You heard it here. For, and that one's free. So, yeah. Um, Make it pay for the next one. That's dope. Patreon though. for more notes. If you'd like, <laughs> if you'd like the E flat package, 
That's dope. I mean, that's a uh, that's something that you've been working on for a long time. It's. Now. I think that's the hardest thing as a vocalist is figuring out how to first expand your range, but do it without hurting yourself. Yeah, I remember there was a couple times where you hurt yourself on tour, and like I didn't know how to say it. So the one day I was like, "Do you just have a shitty voice?" <laughs> Like I didn't know how to say, like yeah. like weak or like yeah like but I guess not like it is very typical for singers but I, it, but it, I, it was because it like during live shows I care so much about hyping everybody up that it's yeah. not just my singing I'm yelling yeah. the yeah, entire yeah, yeah, time yeah. like get up <laughs> yeah why isn't it why does it hurt today I wonder <laughs> it's because I'm doing that so like trying to figure out how to like still bring the intensity without being intense in my throat is like the hardest part because when you're in the moment it's like. So much goes yeah. out the window. It's how, like you, your muscle memory has to be down. I didn't even think about this until you brought it up to me. But I remember uh, like when we were talking about, you know, how difficult it is being a singer on tour. The idea of like, all right, here's a song that has a note that's difficult to hit. Yeah. So when you're recording it, you're thinking like, oh, I can hit this note once. But then having to do that every single night. And then you also want to be social. Yeah. You want to hang out after the show. That's the hardest part. So it's kind of hitting that balance between and the And also hitting the note live, like running oh, around. Yeah. My favorite nights on tour when they're, I know there's an off day the next day, especially if there's two off days, I'm like, I can go very hard tonight. Yeah, yeah. Cause then I'll, sh I'll be, if it, we're going to a mall, I just won't talk. I'll like go fuck off and shop or whatever. And then I know I'll be okay. But if it's like everyone's like, oh, we're in like a pop in town like New York, but we got a show tomorrow. Well, and everyone yeah. wants to go out. I'm like, great, I'm staying in. Yeah. Or if I want to go, I'll just like mouth everything to everybody. Because I, I like camaraderie. Say, yeah, I do. Yeah. There is a, a game that we love playing on tour. Well, we love playing it. It's uh, uh, <laughs> vocal rest charades yeah. where uh, Cody can't talk. And so he tries to speak to us with hand motion. And I yeah. just mouth. Yeah. yeah. I like I, I found this way of I can enunciate without pushing air where I'm just like. Like all yeah. those things, but I'm just moving my mouth to enunciate it enough to hopefully. I think it's made me better at playing like catchphrase in other games. Definitely, <laughs> like it's I really... have to overly communicate. But they love intentionally not getting yeah. it. Like, there'll be someone else with us, and they'll be like, "What are they trying? What's he trying to say to me?" Like, "Oh, he says he hates you. He <laughs> wish you wasn't. You weren't here." So yeah. then, like, I have to have an app now where I type stuff out just in case things get misconstrued because I get so in my head about. It. I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I mean. Yeah, I also like you've been doing it for a really long time, and I've never gotten better at <laughs> no, not at all you've but, gotten better we've yeah. gotten worse there's if some, anything there's like certain people uh, like on crew that are like be really good at it and like i'll try it with you and you're like no and then i'll turn to them yeah. and then they'll be like there's like he means this and yeah. i'm like yes throw my hands up in the air all excited yeah it's like oh a, my god pretty wild moment vocal rest cody is uh it's it's like sometimes um you you're trying to explain like a video game or like something in a, like some sort of I get rule. pretty adventurous yeah. and 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 when doing it sometimes. Dude, and most of the time I'll just go, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no idea what you said, but I'll be like, But it was enough yeah. to make me go, okay. Yeah. I love so you'll get really excited, we can't figure it out. And then I I honestly forget that it happened, but in that time you have pulled out your phone and typed it all out. Yeah. So it'll be completely silent. And all of a sudden a robot voice <laughs> yeah. will come out of nowhere and explain. Oh, that's it right. Me. I had the app where it like it was like talk to text. Yeah. It's like, hey man, how you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> Takes forever. Like just way Dude, delayed. Such, such a good way to have a conversation. <laughs> you have to be very patient. For for one of these podcasts, we should have one of us only use the robot. Oh voice. my oh, dude. <laughs> Be, be the late. longest episode ever. Yeah. Late to every show. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to respond and you start talking. I'm like, no, <laughs> hold on. Holy oh, crap. Man. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that becomes less frequent. Dude. But also like it, you made me think immediately of like when we didn't have green rooms mm -hmm. and I had oh, to yeah. warm up still, but I couldn't warm up in the van because that was occupied. Yep. So I remember there was like sometimes where I have to warm up in the public bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not warm up like for a lot. Some of them, you can tell that it's a vocal warm up, but sometimes it sounds like, I don't know, like the bathroom is haunted <laughs> or it's full of bees. <laughs> Case in point. So like <laughs> someone will just be trying to pee and they'll hear like the sound of, I don't know, ghosts, bees, whatever yeah. weird noise it Ghost takes bees. to make your voice sound good. There's one like that that you do that's like, oh, 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 it's bee. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Dude, it's like, sounds like somebody's like getting stabbed a bunch of times. <laughs> Dude, it's it's because it, everyone's like trying to just be in there and pee. Right. Oh, yeah. And they're coming out of like the, the urinal or their stall just like looking at me like, dude, is there, are you OK? Yeah, I know. I yeah. feel like that's got to make you more uh, like it's got to help with social anxiety because you've already had to be weird in front of people. So now when you have when you're normal, it's like, oh, well. I'm not going to lie. It's helped. 
Yeah. It yeah. absolutely is because I'm like, I don't care, man. Like, like, I have to do this. You've heard me do my BBs. <laughs> I can do whatever. <laughs> if you don't if you don't see me at my BBs, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> now that you've seen my little tiny BBs, I can, I can do anything. Yeah. Yeah, it really puts you out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So glad we can like I can warm up in oh, bathrooms yeah. in our own green room now. Yeah. What, uh, <laughs> comfortably. What about you? What's the best thing that happened to you this week? What's the best thing that's happened to me this week? Mm-hmm. Um well, technically, it was last week, sort of. Doesn't count. Don't talk about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what happened? The Buccaneers are in the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, yeah. Bet you, uh, bet you this audience really cares about oh, that. Oh, they sure do. Uh, yeah, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what, my favorite football team, are in the Super Bowl. With you Tom couldn't Brady. lose because you're a big fan of both the yeah. Packers and the Bucs. So either way, one of your t- favorite teams are in the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. But now the, the Bucs are in the Super Bowl, and it's a home Super Bowl. It's never happened before. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably the best thing that's happened to me. And uh, I had nothing to do with it. By the time this comes out, I just realized it'll probably be over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Super Bowl <laughs> will be over. So I'll either be really excited or super Can sad. we record just for ahead of time? You being really excited and yeah, then yeah. one of you All being right, super so, bummed out. Okay, Here we go. Ready? Yeah. The Bucks won the Super Bowl. Holy shit. Tom Brady did it. I can't believe it. I, I love the Buccaneers and I love Tom Brady. And I'm so excited to be a Bucks fan. All right. And they just lost. I've never felt such sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most significant bummer of my lifetime. This is you in front of the TV. Yeah. So composed. I've never felt such <laughs> sadness. Yeah, they're like, and what happened in the fourth quarter? Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am dead devastated. <laughs> I'm devastatingly sad, and I have to talk to you. Right <laughs> You're the coach. Yeah, no, You're I'm, going door to door. Not, hi, who are you? I'm devastatingly <laughs> sad, and I have to talk to you. I'm the coach of the 2021 Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and um, I just need someone to talk to. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, Was it's that- gonna be it's gonna be pretty devastating. But that is the best thing that's happened in my week, I think. There's that's nothing good. really yeah. else. How about you, man? Okay, so this week's been a little weird. Uh, so I feel like. Especially during the pandemic, my life has been during just the like pandy? during the pandy, the pandy, the pandy, <laughs> the pandy demi. Uh, you, I've been like just kind of jumping from one hobby to another, and I yeah. get super interested in that hobby. And yeah. then all of a sudden, one day, I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. So yeah. there's these weird middle points where I don't have anything that I'm like super interested yeah. in, and that's this week, which is usually a bummer. But I have been taking advantage of the fact that I've been home and I've been really enjoying try, trying to do impressions. Uh, like just by myself but the thing is like impressions are hard they're right? very hard so it's even funnier when I do it really bad because oh, yeah. it's the first time you're ever hearing yourself do these oh, impressions yeah. um, I get discouraged easily with those like oh, I have some yeah. friends that are really good at Australian impressions mm-hmm. but like how and then I'll try but how's it go oh, I'm, st- I'm gonna stop, stop now I'm never trying this again yeah <laughs> Um, but then it's, 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 you either have to like be really, really good at it or super, super bad. Yeah. Um, so I've kind of been working through that. Like I've been working on this one for, um, for Peter Griffin from family guy. Yes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Hey, what's going on? It's Peter Griffin. <laughs> the family guy. <laughs> Lois. Hey. Oh, Dude, dead ringer. Hey. Uh, no, I, I, I think I've been getting good at some, it's, like legitimately good at some of them. I think uh, you're a stand in at this I'm gonna point. I'm going to try to do Elmo. Okay, here we go. Ha <laughs> um, ha, um, Elmo. Was that That's actually pretty good. good. Yeah, some yes. of them are good. Some of them need some work. I accidentally <laughs> do Kermit the Frog sometimes. Oh, let's hear it. I try to just like like make a voice like I'm making fun of something. Okay. But everyone's told me that I'm just Kermit. I'm like, Hey everybody! Uh, like, I guess that's not really. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's the first time you hear yourself doing. Now it. Now that I'm trying to do it, it's, I can't do it. It's, I, that's what I've been doing by myself oh. in my house. I can't do any of it. I like to imagine it's you in your bathroom with hands on the counter, <laughs> staring at yourself as close to you can be yeah. with yourself facing the mirror. Just like, hi, hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm. <laughs> trying to do the Joker voice. <laughs> I'm going to brush my teeth now. <laughs> and it's going to feel minty. Oh, Postmates is here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, Zach, you said you can't do any impressions? Like, almost not. What's what's the best impression you think you can do? Wait, wasn't there one we'd make you do all the time? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> was it Kermit the Frog? It was Kermit the Frog. It was Kermit the can Frog. You try, can you do your best Kermit the Frog, <laughs> Jesus please? Jesus Christ. Please. Um, uh, you're going to laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're like on the edge of your seat. I can't wait. I'm oh, like can't wait to my laugh knees. at stupid man. <laughs> 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 oh, do the joke, stupid man. Let's laugh. Um, uh, um, it... <laughs> there you go. Kermit the Frog. 
I could have made any noise, honestly. Oh, um, I was primed and ready to Kermit, ready to giggle. Kermit, <laughs> he's Kermit, dis- he's Kermit distressed. Need help. He's going through a lot, <laughs> dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know why that reminds oh. me of uh, in Warp Tour, like several years ago. Me and you would sell to the line. Mm-hmm. And we were delirious in the morning. I think we've talked about this on the podcast already, but we'd be delirious in the morning. Everything would it would either really piss you off or you'd lose your lose your shit laughing because you're so tired. And uh, we had a, we had this thing called "Must Be Nice" that we'd say all the time. <laughs> we'd always say "Must Be Nice," uh, and we had like a whole song it was like "Must Be Nice." Must be nice. And so one day we're walking. Such a passive aggressive thing to say. <laughs> to hey, dude, it's got a new car. Oh, dude, must be nice. <laughs> But must singing a whole song nice. too must be nice. So we were singing, we were singing that. And we started messing up the lyrics or something, and it was like seven in the morning. We were like, "Be be." Instead of saying "must be nice," we were doing it like "be must nice," like mixing it up, <laughs> spicing it up. Yeah. And then Max was like, "That sounds like a caveman who met Max Bemis from Say Anything," and it was "be must nice, be must nice, dude." I'm not kidding. I think I laughed for like four days straight. Bemus nice. How yeah, about a caveman going, Bemus nice. Bemus nice. The caveman's nice. also singing. Yeah, you know, that actually was a really funny story behind that song. We were first touring. Um, we were with our friends in Divided by Friday. Yeah. And we were touring with, I think it was there for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. they were loading in at the Middle East Lounge. Yeah. And we weren't, I don't remember what it was, but we were just singing it unrelated to anything yeah. that they, they were well, doing. Well, they had crew. Yeah, yeah. they didn't. That's, that's what time. it was. They yeah. had crew and they were, their crew was loading their equipment on stage and we, uh, uh, us and Divided by Friday all had like load our own stuff on stage. But yeah. we were, I don't think we were singing it because no, of that. we weren't. No. We were just singing it because we were bored and we felt like singing must be nice. Catchy. Yeah. And so yeah. then they <laughs> saw it and they thought we were singing must be nice to them because they had a crew to load their <laughs> stuff on the stage. <laughs> I know, yeah, like big miscommunication. Yeah, oh, man. Be the, like the rudest thing ever, too. Yeah. <laughs> Just like must be nice. It's like fuck you, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks for bringing us on the tour. Yeah, yeah. fuck you, dude. But- so many. We've gotten so many great jokes from other bands on tour. Like so a, many. A big provider of them was a band, Patent Pending. Um, they had this thing where they'd be like, "Oh, you think you're a real cool guy, huh? Oh, oh you think you're real cool." And as you keep saying, "Oh, you think you're a real cool guy," you start putting your hand on your chin, like, "Oh, you think you're real cool." And then the goal is to get your body as <laughs> low to the ground until you're like laying on the ground in awkward positions, <laughs> and you do that to people, and it weirds them out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes them incredibly uh, nervous for what you're what you're gonna do next. Yeah, and then you know they're cool if they join you. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which happens a lot. Actually. It, it does. does. It does. It does. They do think they're a real cool guy. Yeah. Sometimes they do. If they, they if it makes the cool people feel outside of their comfort zone, and that's the move. There was uh there was this this thing. I don't know if it's a common thing that they do, but one of the first tours uh I ever went on with them, they got us uh an entire <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, Wait, yes. it wasn't the first thing. It started with they went to south of the border. That's right. Yeah. And they got us lanyards. Right. Which who if people don't know, south of the border is just like a random rest stop that has like amusement parks and it has like a bunch of souvenirs. It's like shops. a big sombrero water tower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a big tourist I think trap. it's supposed to like signify when the south when the south actually starts from the north. Yeah. Well. Something like that. Yeah. I have no idea, but it's just a tourist trap. Yeah. And then they bought us lanyards. To put our tour passes on that we had to wear around and our And none necks. of us wore lanyards. We all wore no. like we all wear the carabiner stuff yeah, where yeah. you put the keys on it and whatnot. And so they the next day they're like, you're you're not wearing our gift. <laughs> it was like they, they were we knew they were jokesters, yeah. so that we they're like, you're just messing with us. They yeah. like gave us a chore to like yeah. wear this. And then they got us an entire pumpkin. They yeah, they did. did. And like, what are we, we're in a van. What are we supposed to do with this pumpkin? It was October and they gave us a pumpkin that in crude writing with a Sharpie said, tour gift. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't throw it away no. because that would be rude. So we kept it. <laughs> so we just had a tour pumpkin in our van for the rest Dude, of the tour. Pat and some of the funniest people on this planet, man. That's always great. I feel like uh, how you know a tour really, has been good and you've made good friends is if there's a tour prank at the end. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like something small. Like I think even our on our last tour, did we get pranked in Australia? I think the last day. I don't know. Oh, I, I think we might. If it wasn't that, the last one I can remember was when we had um, – Oh, they all came on stage during the last song. I just realized Loki's just running around. Oh, yeah. We're at my place. Oh, we got a, they had cake. They caked us in the face. And I think that what it, that's what it was. They yeah. caked us they in, in the, the face. face. They caked us 
in the face. They kicked us in the face. Oh. They kicked us in the face. They kicked us. What did they do now? Kicked us in the face. They kicked us in the face. Say it again. What? What is that? Uptown me. Funk. Uh, oh, it's Uptown Funk you up. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Immediately. I was like, <laughs> We're going to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> this is our big moment. Bruno Mars in the corner, like taking notes. <laughs> this is good. this is what really happened. He had a time machine. He yeah. came to this podcast moment and he's like, that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So you're welcome, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I ruined your summer in 2015. <laughs> So there's some things I know that we, we just had, like, a, we're talking about the past. Now let's go to, forward to the future that we're looking forward to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were talking about something that I actually didn't know much about. Is it called Mario oh, Land? Oh, no. Uh, so it, Mario I, Town. I think Town. <laughs> Mario Village. I mean, it, dude, yeah, that's something. So anyway, I think it's I think it's like a Super Nintendo World is what it's called. Oh, is it strictly Super Nintendo or just Nintendo? Or? Well, like they only yeah. do Street Fighter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I don't think it has to be from Super Nintendo. Oh, wait, like, I'm pulling it up. Just anything. Super Nintendo there. World. Yeah, so it's called Super Nintendo World. It's in Japan at the at their Universal Studios. Oh, so it won't be here? It will. Eventually. Oh, dude, there's a whole... Yeah, we could get into it. I don't know how interesting it'll be to a lot of people, but uh, there's supposed to be one here in Florida, or here in Florida, and they're building one in Los Angeles right now. Really? They're building a Mario section in Los Angeles right now. Oh, yes. hell And the one yes. in Florida is supposed to be built at a third theme park that they're building there called Epic Universe. I, I know a lot about theme parks, mm-hmm. so too much, if you will. Dude, I'm, I'm looking. I was trying to find like a good video because I don't know if there's any like there's the no trailer had, for it. The last one that you had pulled up was pretty good. Have you seen that one? Yeah, I mean, it is 10 minutes, 15 minutes long. We don't have to watch the you whole can skip thing. skip around. Is it good at the beginning, like, do you think? Or? Yeah, just let's just, yeah. Let's check out what the beginning looks like. Super Nintendo World official. Yeah. So this is the creator of Mario. Okay. He's speaking Japanese, so. I'm Mario's dad. Yeah. That part's, can we pause it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that he calls himself <laughs> Mario's dad. Good evening. Welcome to my land. I'm Mario's daddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Something about it, too. Uh, it's like Mario is, I'm like, when I think of Mario, I think of him as already like a full-fledged adult. <laughs> so like him being like, I'm Mario's dad. And then Mario's like, dude, I'm older than <laughs> <laughs> So like, it's kind of like weird. Like that can't, me. he can't possibly actually be the creator of Mario, right? Yeah. He is the creator is. of Mario. That is the creator but why do I feel like that was like 50 years ago? <laughs> well, it, Even though still it'd be very possible, I, the, I guess. I think the first one came out in the early 80s. But also he looks so young. Like it's like to be his dad. Yeah. He must have been like 25 when he made Mario. I think he was pretty young. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, it's also one of those things where it is fairly new, but it's such a recognizable face that I couldn't yeah. imagine a world without Mario. Oh, oh absolutely. I that guy. <laughs> <laughs> we need more name? of him. I just, I saw right now he's currently two hands on a green pipe just staring at us. And now I immediately started thinking, what if they tried to make everything from the Mario universe actually come to life? There, like we're throwing hammers at people. I mean, <laughs> that's Dude, that's watch. what they do. <laughs> no, I'm way. not kidding. All right, let's keep going. I mean, okay, we we can. So this is the entrance. It's super bad. That looks. Oh wow, it looks like it's not. A, I know, dude. Doesn't it looks? It looks like green screen. It looks, a, it looks like AR. Yeah. yeah. Directly show you what's inside Super Nintendo World. Yeah. So I'm sure you can skip ahead a little bit. All right. Let's see. Where where should I go next? Yeah, just yeah. anywhere. So and yeah, right. Fine. No, no. Go back a little bit. Yeah, one forward. forward is that the forward, castle? Forward, 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 yeah, forward, yeah. forward. There. All right, one fifty-seven. I have to t- timestamp this so that I can actually put uh, the video to this. Okay. This is what it looks like. Oh my god! There's Bowser's castle. What? Yeah. Look at those coins, dude! It looks so incredible. I hope that you can actually jump on all this stuff. No, you, you can. And this fall is, stories. <laughs> <laughs> this is all display. Oh my though. god! Yeah. I mean, you can probably mute this guy in the background, too. Yeah, I think uh, I will now. Um, but so like this area is all it holds. It has a Mario Kart ride and it has that's Princess Peach's castle. Dude, this wow. is unbelievable. Yeah, they did such. He's a good walking job around in it right now. It looks like this. Yeah. This always blows my mind because, I mean, when when he created this game, it was a 2D scroller. Yeah. And now he's literally walking around in that world. Oh, in my God. World. That yeah, must so feel insane. You're going to buy these things called power-up bands. I feel like I'm doing an ad for that. <laughs> but these are these power-up bands that you hit that, and you can play, like, mini, game, mini games oh, throughout cool. the land. And you're basically trying to fight. You're trying to get these keys so that you can unlock the final boss, which is Baby Bowser. 
Uh, that's just mini game size. What kind of mini games can you do in there? Uh, there's a bunch of different ones. Uh, there's one where uh, you have to uh, hit this block so the so the hammer Koopa guy. Yeah. Uh, he, he goes through it in the video at one point. Um, yeah, but there's a, but there's it just Jeez. looks incredible, and I'm so excited. People for are gonna hit that too hard. Yeah, oh, they yeah. are. <laughs> They're gonna break their wrist. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure they have an idea for it already. My God, that is impressive. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can go probably a little bit further in the video. If All right, what do you think? And where at? Uh, oh, that's the part that I'm talking about. Right here? Yeah, yeah. So 436 is what we're looking at. Turn the volume back on. So he's hitting the thing with his wrist. Yeah, and that's how you get the key in the For those who can't see this, check it out on YouTube. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, my God, this is a mini game? Yeah. There's like a green pipe so then, with like a, a turtle shell going in between it, and it's really happening physically. You have to time it to make sure that everything that that it goes through when that. Oh goes. wow! Wow! He's not very good. You created this, dude. Yeah. Come on. You should be better. Oh, oh wow! So, so now he gets the key. That's incredible. And then you do a bunch of those types. And they of have the Mario music. celebration music in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. So it's it looks incredible. It's going to be amazing. I mean, I don't know when we'll, uh, we'll ever get the chance to go. But There's so much new to look forward to. Like, I, I, I am real so far. Like, this is kind of unrelated, but at the same time, like, there's so much. Ha like, for instance, PS5 games. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. so sick of waiting for new games. Yeah, I yeah. want more new games right now. Like, we have to wait for that. A lot of movies. Yeah, yeah. I, like, Mandalorian next season. I just finished that. That's not coming out until December. And there's also going to be a Boba Fett one now, oh, which is yeah. crazy. Did you guys finish Mandalorian? No, no. I actually uh, didn't watch it. I, I I watched the first season, Dude. and I kind of got I kind of got over it because I felt like they were like, oh, we need to get to this island. We need to get to this new planet. And then they got to the planet like, oh, we need some sort of milk or, or nutrient. And yeah, like, it felt like the same sort yeah. of formula. It yeah. got better towards the second half of the second season. I feel okay, like cool, cool. I should give it another shot. Yeah, I, really I also don't it. have Disney Plus anymore, but I, but I mean, I can re get it. Speaking I, of things we're looking forward to, is there a game? That has not come out yet that oh, you've been thinking oh, about. Yes. Oh, dude. It's coming out. What is February it? February 21st. What is it? Little Nightmares 2. I just pre ordered that. It's going to be incredible. I have no idea what that is. I haven't played the first one. I saw, I saw the, the trailer for Little Nightmares 2. You haven't 2. played the first one? No. I, I, I watched the trailer for the second one on my stream recently, and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. It is such a good example. And I feel this way about, about uh, horror movies, horror games, everything. I, I think that if your game or movie relies on jump scares, then it's not a good Agreed. Movie. It's not scary. You just made a loud noise. I, oh, my it, God. It drives me crazy. So this is a game that, I, if I remember, it might have, like, maybe one or two. Yeah. But it just gives you this overall sense of eeriness. The story is incredibly rich. Yeah. The, the visuals, like, it really feels like you're there. Yeah. It is... Incredible. Dope. And the second one looks somehow even better. It looks amazing. Yeah. I am looking forward to that for sure. What about you? What game am I looking forward yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh. Dude. That game's going to be awesome. It looks out of control. Do you do, Have they talked about a release date yet with that? No. So I know originally it was 2020, but it got pushed. They made a statement saying 2021. So oh, okay. it'll probably be... And Sometime this year? I, I, I'm going to um, imagine the end of the year. I hope so, man. That'd be amazing. I haven't yeah. seen much about that. What's the vibe? Uh, so basically, they haven't talked too much about it. I know that it's like eight, you start in like 18th century. So it has nothing to do with with actual Harry Potter okay. and his whole rap. So it's tag. way before him? Way before him. Oh, Harry, wow. Harry Potter actually took place from uh, 1990 to 97. Really? Yeah. So... Okay. Um, um, this new one takes place in the 18th century. It's crazy Before, that like, Voldemort and the bare naked ladies existed at the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, like the internet was just starting to get cracked. Yeah, like, and Voldemort like did, was Bella, taking over. did Bellatrix have AOL? <laughs> <laughs> no. Had a, had, a, had a really great screen name. No. Uh, <laughs> Strange 87. <laughs> Wizards don't really use any muggle stuff, so. Uh, oh. Too bad, Bellatrix. <laughs> you missed uh, out. Yeah. Uh, Enjoy your magic. Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> apparently it's going to be like uh, an RPG. Um, you you start as a fifth year student, uh, exchange student. There's some uh, rumor that you're kind of a bad student. That's why you got Ooh, transferred. But yeah, but it is going to be like you know those old fable games where you could like choose your path. You could be a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah. Right. That's a, in a lot of games oh. now, but that's also part of it. You can I was choose to be a dark be a wizard case. or a good wizard. 
Uh, yeah, so there isn't much out about it. There's a trailer, but dude, this game, I saw a leaked version of this game in like 2017. Yeah. And I found a subreddit and I followed the subreddit and I've been following it for so long. And so like I've known about the game for years and when they finally announced it at the PlayStation event thing that they did, dude, I was like screaming from so being so fucking ready to play this game. Hell yeah. First but, time I saw that was when they were showing like the showcase for the PS5. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, and it also Unreal. like about fucking time. Dude. Yeah, like yeah, people have been asking that for that for for a Harry Potter like. I remember playing like the older Harry Potter. Oh, games. they're hilarious now. Oh, Are they really real bad. so real bad. bad? There's like plenty of funny playthroughs on YouTube. My friend was playing some old N64 game, mm -hmm. and he said that it looked like the, they all the characters just got punched in the face over yeah. and over again because <laughs> they can only, you can only have one expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah N64, yeah. and it was all blocky. It so. looked like it got stapled onto your face. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and so there's a bunch of videos I've been watching, and they're hilarious. Like, the timing of the dialogue is off, and the way they oh, run man. is so stupid. Like, it's just... Yeah, but I it was mind-blowing at the time. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It was revolutionary back then. Yeah, which is fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm looking forward to the next Resident Evil game. The one with the, the hot vampire milk. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hot she, The nine-foot-tall vampire There's milk. a very attractive vampire. She's huge. Wears a cool hat, and uh, they transfer into bugs to transport around. I they had a demo come out, which is it was so good. Mm -hmm. Immediately got into it. In fact, I, so I was a big fan of like Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, and I've played it three times now. Wow! And I recently just uh, started playing the downloadable content, and it's awesome. What's it got? Well, like I just did one where it's basically an escape room. Like you're oh, stuck nice. in a bed, and the mom keeps coming in, and you, if she comes back in, and you're searching for your way out, you have to put everything back before she comes back in. Super stressful. Yeah. And then um, eventually you get out. So it was a lot of fun for that. I just played one called 21, Wear Your Hands. It's like Saw, but mixed with blackjack. So oh, if, if you have to be decent at blackjack to not die and right. you're facing this other guy. And I, I beat that. That was fun. But there's another one that just came out called like something about Zoe, like finding Zoe or Zoe's end. Mm -hmm. And you're, remember the the dad that's like crazy, like super creepy in the game, right? Yeah. So yeah. his brother, you play him and he's just from the south and very strong and he punches these things with his fists and he beats these demons with fists <laughs> it's so i was like this is ridiculous and then i started playing i was like this is the most fun i've had in a that long sounds time like a blast. it yeah. was awesome but so i've been kind of it's been holding me over because it's still like 90 days until the next one comes out so damn i'm waiting i'm waiting for more things so that i can use the controller yeah, you know? yeah. the haptic feedback if yeah. You know. yeah yeah i'm excited about playstation 5 games i i I bought the PlayStation 5 and now I'm like, ah, I have, I basically, it's a PlayStation 4. Yeah. Yeah. It just loads faster. Yeah. I will say I, I got uh, back into Minecraft. I feel like every like two or three months. Yeah. I like get in and then I fall out and then I get back in. But oh my God, if you haven't played Minecraft, what are you I doing? I have not. I have not. I just, Ugh. something about it just doesn't like, like attract me to yeah, it. Yeah. It's too like blocky and weird. That's I have played the whole thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's blocks. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's just like, I don't know. The, it's like, it is a fun game, but I can't really get past the graphics. But I played. I think I'm just being stubborn. Me and my brother yeah. tried to play Minecraft together. Because we were like desperate to, for communication and connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to play oh. Minecraft. <laughs> oh wait, you know what? We have an ad read. Oh, oh. finally a real one. And this three time. episodes in too. Three episodes in. All right, ad read. Here we go. Here we go. It's time for another another podcast ad read. Have you heard about the band Set It Off? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? <Whoa>, where am I? <laughs> Killing it. Oh, sorry. Should I just do the whole ad read over again? No, no, no. no. You're, you're good. You're good right there. <laughs> well, you better add because you're listening to this podcast. Think That's right. Thanks again to Set It Off for sponsoring the podcast. Set It Off has a great web store you can check out at setitoff.shop. They also just opened up a new UK Europe merch store as well. Thanks, Set It Off, for being the best podcast sponsor ever. Set It Off. I Set don't know how I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Like, you wrote it. I know. I wrote it. And in the last podcast, I was like, dude, I'm so ready. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to do podcasts. Practicing dude. in front of a mirror yeah, with things you wrote down. to me yeah. and I'm like, um, well, um, hello. Do you, put on, do you put on your ad read voice? No, I don't. Try putting on your ad read voice. Oh, should I do it? Yeah, go full blown. Welcome all. It's time for another podcast ad read. You've heard. Oh. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of spice yeah. for, a, for a. Have you heard of the band Set It Off? 
Well, you better add because you're listening to this podcast. You have to be over the top excited. Yeah. I honestly really appreciate when people read ads and they you can tell that's the last thing they <laughs> yeah. want to do. Uh, yeah, like Bill Burr. Yeah. Oh, he's just like, yeah, this uh, this thing. Go get it. Yeah. All right, buy it today. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so we wow. wrote down some other. We were talking about things that we were that was the best part of our week. The mm-hmm. things that we're looking forward to. But there's also some things that we discovered not too long ago that we've been really like. Why doesn't this exist everywhere? Yeah, and that thing is called Holy Moly. Oh, my God. Sounds like we're making it up, but that's the name of it. This it, was, uh, to take us back, like, this was in the beginning of 2020. Yeah. yeah. Right before the pandemic, and we yeah. were in Australia. We were for living the very in Australia. First time. Yeah, we were just waiting, like, all right, pandemic, end. Yeah. Let's go to this next tour. Yeah, we had a, uh, we, we took a week off in Australia because we wanted to explore before we were supposed to go to Asia with Jimmy Eat World, which yeah. would have been... Yeah. Just a little band called Jimmy World. Yeah, yeah, maybe yep. you've heard of them. Yeah. Um, but so we took a week off because we're like, oh, we're going to explore Australia. It's going to be awesome. And COVID. Yeah. Yep. I so mean, uh, our so, options were limited. Yeah. So we had nothing to do. We had a friend out there. Uh, yeah. Is that how we discovered it? Yeah, Georgia. Yeah, Georgia uh, told us about yeah, it. Georgia, yeah, Georgia, yeah. who's a friend of ours from Australia, told us about this mini golf place. Oh my god, this is such a fun day. But so, yeah, so we we uh, I think we went and got dinner around there. And yeah, we, we went, got some food nearby. We went and then we went and played mini golf. But this mini golf is insane. It's yes. like incredibly decorated. It's themed uh, to like movies yeah. and, and and pop culture. Yeah, and they're incredibly well done sets that you play mini golf on. So like I remember the Forrest Gump one, for instance, had like the bench and the box of chocolates yep. and his shoes. There's an E.T. one that had like the bike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's, an, there's a Jaws one where you have to like go on a boat and he's like eating the boat. While wasn't there one on with it? like a money? It was like, yeah, it wasn't related to pop culture, but it was like, you basically had to shoot into this thing and then go in there and then uh, hit a button and air started flowing and money started falling all yes. around. And then you had to try to, while you're getting pummeled with air, yeah. try to get the ball into the hole. But yeah. but also what's cool is it's like a Dave and Buster's because you can drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like ripping martinis, playing golf. It was amazing. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good time. I How many times did we go? God, I remember maybe four or five, but we were only there for a week, so it was almost every single day. We yeah. went as much as humanly possible. Yeah. And, and I, mean, I think we went to like five different ones. Mm-hmm. We like found every single holy moly in the area where we have to go. I we just need to open know, a chain. I was going to say, I don't know how there aren't more immersive mini golf courses. It's one of the only games you can play while you're drinking. Yeah. yeah so yeah. why don't they make it a whole experience? Little cup holder right there. Boom. Exactly. Yeah. It's such a good time. I, I, I'm sure that there probably will be something in the future like it. And, and I bet you there's also like some sort of like weird licensing thing. Mm. Like it's, some, it's something so stupid and business related that it's stopping people from actually enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. It just reminds, it's like one of those things we were talking about in the earlier podcast when it's like, oh man, you guys are a band. I bet you're doing crazy stuff on the road. <laughs> what was Australia like? It was cool. We played uh, mini golf. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Like, like as far as our favorite things to do <clears throat> on an off day, like if it could be something that we've done once or that you've done recently that you would like to do. Like I know Top Golf is a big oh, one for I us. I love Top Golf. Like you Top don't have to fun. be a golfer to love Top Golf. Yeah. yeah. You get some great food, great drinks. It looks like another ad. And then you just hit the ball as hard as you can or as far as you can and try to score some points. Yeah, and then we're playing Top Golf and people are expecting us to be like doing blow and like <laughs> <laughs> and like c- causing like doing the craziest house parties and we're um, really like, "Wow, uh have you have you tried the the driver yet? That oh was, yeah. Oh, you seven iron over there. Uh, oh, oh nice. Oh, are you gonna switch up? Go to the five. Oh, you're you're it's risky. Yeah. There are a couple times uh, that we've been in in uh, the bus, right? And and we'll drink every now and then, but yeah. we, you know we 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 don't usually get out of control. But when we have some people who maybe haven't met us or like a friend is bringing a friend, yeah, they hear, yeah. oh, you're going on this band's bus. Yeah. They have this expectation that we're going to party super hard and that they have to like keep up with <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so oftentimes someone will bring someone and they seem nice, but then they get like hammered by yeah. 5 p.m. Oh, I had to yell at someone for poop on, on our on our bus. Once. Which you yeah. can't do, yeah. by the way. Do not poop on the bus. Don't it doesn't work do that way. This guy didn't know the rules and... He, oh, dude, he, that he came whole... out. He came out like, don't go in there. And he said it to me. And I was like, did you poop in there? <laughs> and dude, he, he's expecting like an Ace Ventura yeah, joke. Yeah, he land. thought he was gonna, He thought I was going to think it was funny. Yeah. Gonna clap. And I was yeah, like, did like, you poop in there? Don't go in there. And immediately he's like, did you poop? <laughs> I, no filter. I was immediately angry. Have you yeah. ever seen, have you ever been in public um, and you see a dad trying to scold a child, <laughs> but they don't want to do it too loud because they don't want to bring attention to it. 
that's what was happening. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. And then he's also like, didn't he? Didn't he? He's like, did you poop in there? He's like, yeah, it's fine. I've been on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> What does that have to do with what's happening? It's fine. I've been on a boat before. Yeah. This isn't a boat. Yeah. This now lives here. Yeah. Your poop is now so, part of the tour. I like, I, I was so- Your poop is going to Chicago. <laughs> Your poop is going to Chicago. Like, dude, it's got tickets to Chicago. <laughs> This was probably five minutes before we were going on oh, stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we're dude. like, all right, got to get in the right mindset. Here we go. Yeah. So we made him go find supplies to like, it was like a dissolving liquid that you could go get. And yeah. he, he went and got that and took care yeah. of it. But, but like, dude, you don't fuck with that. Because I slept across from the fucking toilet. Oh, I was yeah. like, no. But the case in point is like, if you're going to hang out with us, like, oh, we can drink, we can party or whatever. But w w if you brought a board game, yeah! that would be way better. Catan yeah. board yeah. game nights on tour are yeah. awesome. Then, like, Wait, then we've throwing never up. done that. Yes, we have. Yeah, we yeah. did it uh, first time in Ireland. And then oh, we also, oh, okay, it was, okay, we okay, only okay. did it overseas, I think. I actually. thought you meant in the bandwagon. No, we've played Cthulhu in the bandwagon before. <laughs> Hilarious. And then I think we've tried to play Munchkin, or mm. did we not? No. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's hard on the bandwagon. That thing moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's really small. Too. It's There's very funny to for tables and stuff. Imagine what people think our lives are on tour, and, to, and then if they could actually see it and be like, "Oh, they're boring." Yeah, so yeah. Like, sometimes people will come up like ready to party, and we're waking up from a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Oh, There's Family Feud on. <laughs> Dude, we, oh, oh, Family Feud, forensic and files, forensic files. Yeah, man. Yeah. Always ripping in the bandwagon. I love. Uh, well, we'll just be sitting there, and ever like people will be hung over and tired, and someone will wake up, and they'll be like. Was the husband <laughs> life insurance policy? Yeah. <laughs> Always, dude, dude. We we basically roped Crown the Empire into watching every episode yeah, we did. of Forensic Files. We, I think we ran out of episodes yeah, to did. watch. We did a tour with them in Europe in like 2015 or mm -hmm. something. It's always on. It's yeah. always on. It's yeah. so much fun to watch. But I just remember I downloaded a bunch of episodes for like the flight or something. And then I <laughs> like, he's just vibing. Man. Sorry, Loki's here. You got to see it on YouTube. He's just like begging Max for attention. I basically just, we would all cram into that small back area. It's yep. like incredibly small. Oh, I yeah. can't even describe how small it is. It's like, it's like half the size of an average living room. Oh, so absolutely. Like, and there was, there was our whole band and their whole band mm -hmm. all in that back room, like sitting on top of each other. Drinking trying mimosas. To, yeah, drinking mimosas, trying to watch murder shows. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. It's like that, like, so Top Golf, uh, Holy Moly was amazing. I love Dave and Buster's. Oh, yeah. I love Dave and Buster's. Dude, that's one thing that sucks. I live like so close to one. Okay, so your yeah. the Dave I and Buster's go. in Hollywood is insane, right? Because it's a place that's <laughs> it's it's kind of an all ages thing, right? Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. go there during the day, there's kids playing. So at the one in Hollywood, at like ten o'clock, all of a sudden, basically a guy comes over the loudspeaker and goes, If you're a child, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm not kidding. A DJ. There's like <laughs> naked girls everywhere. Dude, people dress to the nines. Like they dress like they're going to like what's what what's like the name of a nice like sweat the yeah. next new hot club. Yeah, but it's a, they're they're doing that next to Doodle Jump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're playing that skee ball game. Like. Yeah, I'm just trying to play Mortal Kombat in the corner. Dude, I remember trying to. I remember going there once to hang out with. Uh, Crank that, Frank. Crank that. Crank that. Crank that. Uh, Mr. Crank that. I played a uh, Mario Kart with him there. Yeah, did you yeah, win? yeah, yeah. I did. That's nice. So I think out, he got me once too, though. We hung out with Crank that, and uh, <laughs> does he go by Crank that? No, he, he's not like, at all. Hey, Frank, please call me Crank that. <laughs> please, Frank was my father's name. <laughs> call me Crank that. Uh, very nice guy though. But we hung out with him uh, at Dave and Buster's once, and there was we. I remember me a whole group of us watching this kid play DDR, and he was so. Fucking there's always good, one, dude. Mm -hmm. He's there's like always on one. expert mode, and he's like wearing a sweatshirt, like he's like Rocky yeah. training for. You know when they hold the back, the the little barrier on the back. Oh, that's how you. Know that's how you good. Know oh yeah, very good. They mean business. Mm -hmm. I actually got into DDR when I was younger for a little bit. I did too. I had the pad that I would plug into the PlayStation. Oh, I I, I like went to like arcades and like and like played with my friends for like a summer. Oh, that's like awesome. Tried to get really really good at DDR, which I was like thinking about it now. Done nothing. With Have you that. guys ever tried to get really good at the games at arcades that would get you tickets and try to get something? Yeah. yeah what no. was your game that you were like, that's the one I get the most of? Uh, there's one, I think it's called Tornado or Hurricane, and it is a light that spins around. Oh, I oh, remember yeah, those. Yeah, okay. If you can hit the right, it costs almost no tokens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you can hit it, you get the jackpot. You know I remember there was a one that you, it was like a conveyor belt that went like this. That's what I do. And, oh, okay. And there's like a, you can like move the yeah. coins. Not slot. so much that one. I'm not thinking of that and one. And then right. it flicks. 
No, no, no. I'm thinking of the ones where it's like you put the coin up at the top and it falls down almost oh, like and then uh, it pushes. Yeah, and then it pushes. That's a real casino game, dude. That yeah, is it yeah, really? That's a real. Casino I would clean game. house, man. Mm -hmm. I was well, my, well, my parents used to play a week long gig every summer at Hershey Park, and there there was this family called the Drups who were super nice. They'd always give me and my sister like twenty bucks. They'd take us to the arcade and they'd show us like all the tricks. Right. And it was that one. They're like, what you do? Hover it above. Wait till it comes in. Once it comes in, let it go, because then when it comes out, it'll fall. Usually that's the timing. You just gotta find your timing, and then once you have it, it'll push off. You gotta find the ones to go for. And we would just rake in stuff. By the end of the week, we'd be getting like a CD player. Wow. Wow, wow old. Uh, <laughs> we'd be getting like like high-priced shelf stuff, but now you can't do that. Yeah. No. Like David Buzz was like, you have to live here for about three years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually have seen some TikTok hacks of people being like, yeah, you go in there, you get this card, you play this game this many times, you get free Buffalo wings. I'm like, yeah, but you're 40, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just spent like... You just spent like an hour getting a free thing of buffalo wings. Like, just work a job. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, which something that I wanted to bring up, yeah. uh, a hot topic. We're talking about wings. Right? Yeah. And uh, every time I say this, I get the same comment every time. Okay. Okay, I'm like, I prefer boneless wings. And okay. then someone goes, chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm that guy, yeah. first off. Here's, I've done that here's many times. the thing. Yeah. It's all chicken. Yeah. It all tastes. Why would I want bones in my food? No, okay. So here's the thing. Flavor. Like, when are you yeah, eating flavor. something that you're like, oh, I got this cereal here. You know what this needs? Bones. Also, well, it's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, it's because it's because uh, like chicken legs and chicken wings are the the dark meat, so they have more like fat, and they're 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 more like flavorful. He's playing with it. Whereas like boneless uh -huh. is just like white chicken breast. Yeah, but then the the it's I guess dry and boring. I would rather have if for me it tastes the same. And then no, on top of that, it's not though. I don't. I have to get sauce all over my hands. I look like one of those kids <laughs> that has the, the 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 iPad that's all sticky. Yeah. That is, it's like it's like ribs. It's like if you're doing bone bone in uh, wings, you're committing to the mess. Yeah. yeah. But like the the whole thing about bones and flavor, it's weird to say bones. It's yeah. just such a funny word. Can I get extra it's bones? Like <laughs> any chicken noodle soup that you've had, the broth is made from when someone's done making chicken, they throw the bones into something with like water and different vegetables, and it just like turns into that. Bones produce flavor. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, this has a very bony flavor <laughs> to it. Oh my god. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, man. I I'm all about the the bone in wings. I'm bone in too. And there's a yeah. place out here named Chuck's that I really like a lot. And also, I, I if I can, I'll say all flats. Oh, you do uh, all flats. Uh, yeah. There's a t there's a tactic I have for that. I don't, Did I show yeah, you that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I get all flats. Yeah. Because I prefer eating that. Like the the leg is like <laughs> <that's> <laughs> fucking MacGyver MacGyver. So you don't that's get sauce don't like. all over yeah. your face. I'm sorry if you're hearing squeaking in the background. My dog has found the loudest squeak toy possible. Of course he has. Oh, my God. Huge mistake. We should do a podcast where we just put our animals in these seats and see what happens. Oh. See, let's give them the loudest thing possible and see if we can have them just make the most noise possible. Speaking of mistakes, we were going to bring up something um, that we went through a lot of times on tour where we'd have GPS before we because we weren't using our phones initially. We oh, were yeah. using TomTom. Yeah, and which is a GPS. It's a GPS device. Yeah. And there is, first of all, this came up because we were talking about how we could end up annoying ourselves sometimes. And Tom Tom had a feature where you could use your own voice yes. to record your own directions, like turn left. And I did one, well, we were all just doing like ridiculous ones, making funny voices. And I did one for U-turn. I replaced it with, you're going the wrong way, dumbass. And at uh -huh. the moment we're like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Until you're the one driving. <laughs> you make a mistake. And yeah. you make a mistake. Yeah. Or, and yeah. then it immediately had to go away. Somebody's screaming, you're going the wrong way, dumbass. And you're like in downtown New York traffic. There's like fucking cabbies like, get the fuck out of my <laughs> way. <laughs> It's like, it's like wrong time, bad time. Yeah. You're already uh, the like Tom annoyed Tom's by it. insulting you as well. It's like nobody's helping either. You're like, I need help looking out the sides. Like, okay, you're good, I guess. It's fine. Yeah, we uh, uh, we got a lot of flack for this. And you know what? In retrospect, we you probably I'm gonna pardon myself for a second. Please continue. Okay. Oh, you're gonna we have... we probably should have, but uh, we were so, we coveted our sleep so much. Oh, yeah. On tour, um, we had to drive ourselves for a long time. And a lot of bands, you have a co-pilot, so yeah. you're driving late at night. We did not. No, so we it were was just it. you. And if you needed help, good luck. Good Figure luck. it out on your own. Yeah. Um, and so the the way you described it is perfect. It'd be like, I don't know. Have you tried um, turning it off and on again <laughs> yeah. and going back to sleep? Yeah. Dude, yeah. We never helped with the driving shifts no. ever. 
Like it was so cutthroat about it too. I were we talking we, about like how strict we were with yeah. the hour long shifts. Yeah, yeah that three too, hours. I remember we used to also have like a sh- uh, we used to have a joke about how if we were to rob a bank, it would still be like that. <laughs> We'd be like, oh good, all right. Everybody rushes into the van. They're like, everybody's like counting the money. Like holy shit, we just robbed that bank. Can't believe we got away with it. All right, uh, Max, it's your driving shift. No, I drove. I drove four hours yesterday. It's actually no, crazy. you did four hours. Tom, Tom, time. So that's actually two <laughs> oh. hours and fifty minutes real time. Okay. So you get ten more minutes. Okay, check this out. <laughs> Tom, Tom, time. So let's say your destination is three hours away on the Tom Tom, mm-hmm. but you hit six hours worth of traffic. Yep. You still have to drive yep. those six hours mm-hmm. until the Tom Tom time is gone. Yeah, and even and, but sometimes it works out in your favor when you go like like there's no traffic at all mm-hmm. and it like overcompensates and then yeah. you get there a bit sooner. And you're like, all right, I'm done. We yeah. d- we drove that way for I don't know five or six years. Oh my god! And I don't remember a single shift that I had that wasn't at three a.m. <laughs> I know, dude. Sometimes it's not even about it's about the what you when you're trying to sleep after your late night shift. The oh. worst I've never the most angry I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> I was, we had a show coming up in New York and the drive to New York is the worst once you're approaching it. Yeah. So we, it was, I just finished a long shift and I get in the back of the van and we have like a bunk bed situation set up and I'm on top of it. So my head is like, I don't know, four inches from the ceiling yeah. and I am trying to sleep on my side and I realized we hit the New Jersey turnpike and so it's potholes, pothole, yeah. boom, boom, boom. So I'm trying to just go to bed so I can sing the next day. And I, I, my, I made the mistake of like, I'm going to play a game where I try to count two full seconds before a, a pothole hits. And I couldn't. Yeah. Wow. And I started like, I was like, so I like punched the ceiling. I was yeah. so angry. I Dude, know. like that, like that, that I'm so glad we don't have to drive ourselves anymore. Cause some people, I don't know if they understand the gravity of just like how, what the toll that takes on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, having to, so you, so you get there, you load all your gear in. You play the show. Mm-hmm. You go out afterwards to sell CDs. Because you have to have. I know, oh, I thought you meant like after the show. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you play yeah. the show and then after the show, you have to go out, sell CDs. Yeah. You know, talk to everyone, thank everyone for mm-hmm. coming. And then if you want, and no, normally you do, be social in some capacity. Yeah. And then after that, you have to drive to the next show and then do it all again. And after a while, you get into the rhythm of it. But after a while, you're just exhausted. Yeah, yeah. man. Especially if you have like two night shifts in a row. Oh, and then there's this. Okay. So a lot of drives were like eight, nine hours. And when you had the middle shift, yeah. so you would have to decide, all right, do I want to try and sleep for three hours and then wake up? And then by the time my shift is over, it's the morning. Like, yeah, so you yeah. end up not sleeping and then you have to do that whole oh, thing. Oh God. It's chaos. Absolutely. Whew. So glad that's behind us now. Yeah. But a lot of fun stories came out. Of oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh goodness. I think we're about there guys. Yeah. How long is this one? It's, we've been doing this for about 52 minutes, 50 what? minutes or so. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good what? length. But, uh, yo, it's been really fun. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Hope you've been enjoying this so far. Is this the first time the video didn't cut out? Well, first of all, well, let's see. We're going to we find out. Hopefully we have video the whole time. If so, collect a fist pump in the air. One, two, three. Uh! So, so you get to we see that live on How YouTube. How fast can you do a fist pump? Ready? Oh, and bringing it back? Yeah. <laughs> do it make this noise? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you have like a really yeah. tiny sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got to do the song. We got to do the song. We got to get used to it. The bum, outro. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Da, 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 Thank you guys dum, so much. Dum, it's been a dum. blast talking to you again. Da, 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 we will dum, see you for dum, episode four. Dum, and we have been da, 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 da. the Talk da, 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 da. It Off Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to end.